Hey guys, welcome back. This is a uh, frozen lake uh, with deep Q learning, where we train the RL agent to get to here. You see what he's doing, guys? He's learning, and we're about to dive into the code in a second. If you guys are new to my channel, feel free to hit like and subscribe, and we're gonna go over some things as well. Um, before we dive into anything, check out my other reinforcement learning videos. I've even got one with. Uh, uh ml framework uh the last video where we train where we do grid world and i've got plenty of other reinforcement learning videos as well check out my playlist okay guys and if you're new to this channel and you're here for more than just reinforcement learning be advised on one thing i've got videos on everything i've got videos on everything um, everything from machine learning, traditional, just basic, to uh, convolutional neural networks, just turning them into streamlit apps. I've got ML pipelines with SageMaker. I got SageMaker various uh, models and self deployments. I got deployments on GCP, Azure, you name it, I got it. I've even got image processing. You guys name it, I've got it all on my channel. So uh, check out the other videos. Also, uh, if you're here for something, it's probably something else you need, and feel free to share. And uh, before we get started, we're going to be using uh, Google Colab. Why are we using Google Colab? Because your virtual environment is pre-installed. And also things like TensorFlow are pre-installed as well. So if you're using Jupyter Notebooks, you'll have to install plenty of dependencies. But if you're on uh, Google Colab and there's some dependencies you need, all you need is the exclamation mark and these libraries. Also, guys, check out my other uh, reinforcement learning videos for teaching it to drive a taxi with very few time steps and penalties. Check out all those other videos. Okay, guys, let's dive into the code. You need to uh, install these right here. These are dependencies. Okay, and then you need to import these libraries for displaying it, matplotlib, numpy for computing. Check out this registry, guys. I've got this uh, one, Acrobot on another video, Blackjack, Cartpole, and we're doing Frozen Lake V1. Okay, and we got Half Cheetah. I haven't done that one yet. I will get to it. I've also got um, Inverted Pendulum. I've got Mountain Car. Check out that one. I got Pendulum. And I've also got uh, Taxi, like I told you. So guys, check out those other things. Uh, if you guys want to play a different video game and I got the code for one of the other videos, just apply this part. Or go and feel free to do one on your own. Okay, we're loading the environment with Jim. Make Frozen Lake V1. Okay, and then we're going to get into uh, NumPy with deep Q learning. Okay, NumPy is for computing, so we're computing the MP0s for the environment space and the action space. We're going to pass these parameters right here, and then the number of episodes is the MP zeros of the rewards and the range of the episodes and then state equals environment reset because we got to keep track. Remember guys, MP argmax, this is why I like this one, is the greedy function in uh, reinforcement learning. It's also to compute class labels in uh, machine learning and deep learning. MP argmax. Okay, state new, reward, done, equals environment step action. Okay. Okay, MP max equals state new, state action equals state new. Negative one, because we want to uh, subtract the iterations. Rewards episode equals rewards done break. Okay. Okay, find the consequence max. Okay, rewards in this splicing of 100. And then the range is 100 episodes. Return the max. And look how we did, guys. 
83%. Okay, guys. Just print it out just to see where it's at anyway. 16 and 4. That's how we can get our ranges also. Import Imagio. MP Actions equals Environment Action Space. MP Ops. Okay. Import Dick. DQ. Because with the class function, we're going to pass these parameters for the agent. The self-memory function. Where guys, remember that. You never want to make the agents too uh, memory too big or he'll be too lazy to learn. All things want to go to a state of rest. That's the same in Markov's decision process, which is more well-defined. All things want to go to a state of rest. Therefore, when you make the agent uh, lazy by, you know, rewarding him too much, penalizing him too little, whatever, his memory too big, or the len is, whichever, Remember, guys, he'll get lazy. Just like a lot of, just like uh, a lot of things in life. Um, the self action, self dim, three and nine. Now, guys, feel free to change some of these parameters to improve the model as well. And uh, we're using torch and then, okay, and then linear. The action dim, 32 by 64, because these are the shapes, remember? Okay, guys, an agent equals DQN agent. And uh, see some of my other videos for visualizing. I do this in nearly every video. This time we're using the video recorder library. And then in action and before. Um, if you guys want, you guys can read documentation on how to turn this into a video to see how we did. Because well, you guys can do that from here since she passed the parameter in action and you labeled it MP4. Look uh, how he is. There he is. Anyways, guys, um, in this range, you guys can change this right here if you want to increase the number of episodes and make it longer also. You guys can pass another thing. I passed agent right here and reward. You guys can pass another parameter right here if you want, if you want to see how he performs. You guys can pass that right there, but don't change done or info. Environment step, action, screen equals environment render. Okay. And then the IPython is what's displaying it. PLT, I am show, screen, if done break, video close. You guys can pass that right here. And then environment close also. Um, one more thing, guys. Um, remember, guys, uh, if you guys want to uh, change the model also, the agent. Because, <clears throat> guys, remember, um, use the wrong word. Um the agent, guys, remember, is a program within a program. So we're rewarding and penalizing him when we trade in him. Okay, guys? Um, so remember, <clears throat> if you want to have an impact, you guys might uh, want to change the buffer or the batch size. Let's say the batch size is too much and he's being lazy learning. You guys see? And... Uh, <clears throat> The gamma won't have much of an effect. <clears throat> the reason I'm bringing this up, guys, is so you guys can take my code and you guys can improve it for yourself. Okay, guys. Um, the rewards, you guys can change that too. <coughs> and uh, I would not recommend changing MP argmax. It's a greedy function, and it's very uh, effective in reinforcement learning, any type you do, whether it's DQ, Monte Carlo, or Markov's decision process. Either way, guys, don't change uh, MP argmax. You can never go wrong with that one. The MP random rent it, I wouldn't change that either. You always want to keep them guessing. And then the self-memory function, don't change that either.
And if you guys want to go with another model instead of linear, import it from, uh, you know, with the NN. Change it right here, but you guys might need to change these shapes as well to make sure it matches the dim. Just like a convolutional neural network, guys. Remember the input and output shape? See some of my other videos for that. That is somewhat relevant, but different. Still apples and oranges, but they're still the same principle where the shape's got to be compatible. Anyways, guys, the point of all this is build on this. Check out some of my other videos also. He did roll right right here, but guys, remember, there's a lot of episodes, so... If we can sit here all day and watch him perform, because at the beginning, guys, do you know what he was doing? At the very beginning, he kept going here, here, he, and then he's learning, guys, he can't go this way. So eventually, he's going to go over here, and then I wonder whether he's going to go here and then realize, oh, I can't go there either, and then go back to start one. Or he might guess, get lucky, and go here. Anyways, guys, these self-playing video games you guys seem to be interested in over other, a lot of my other my data science videos. Check out my other data science videos for clustering, where we cluster results. DNA results, web scraping and clustering. You name it, I got it. This is my 140th video. That's what I'm saying, guys. If, if you like what you see, check out some of my other videos. Also, guys... Feel free to comment and uh, tell me what more you guys might want to do. I'm automatically going to do some more of these video games. I'm going to take a break for a while. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to end up doing more of these uh, video games also. Anyways, guys, um, you guys uh, hit like if you liked it. And also feel free to share, guys. That helps me out a lot. Until next time, I appreciate y'all. It's my 140th video. Appreciate the support. Thanks, guys. Bye.